Steam sales day eight. I'm Justin. This is Dan. That's me. Um, we are. There's n one of the things I like most in the world. Dan is saving money, <laughs> so that's why Steam sales, the Steam summer sale, is one of the most wonderful times of the year. Your frugality is renowned throughout the office. <laughs> it's true, but only when it comes to like PC games. When it comes to iOS, which is my main B, I'll pay any amount of money for anything. It's crazy. So, <laughs> for, um, for example, XCOM, which right now is is twice as expensive on iOS as it on, as it is on PC. It is. We're in some sort of crazy Candyland. <laughs> It's not a candy land at all. No, XCOM is ten bucks. You say you say yes. I say absolutely yes. I mean, there, there is there is no reason why you would not buy that at ten dollars. XCOM was uh, it actually didn't end up on IGN's Game of the Year list, but it was hotly contested. Mm -hmm. um, we many of us liked it. It's got an eighty nine Metacritic, and I would say that's actually maybe a little bit low. Great game. Yeah, I, ten bucks, seventy five percent. When I reviewed it at Gamespot, I gave it five out of five. Right. So. Yeah. It's but, a, uh, Steve, Steve uh, reviewed it here. He gave it, I think, an eighty two for for in the eight. Like some of the He's some of the linearity of it, but. but he said it was great. Yeah, he said it was great. I agree. Ten bucks. So wait, before you leave there, actually, sure. Uh, th we're talking about uh, the DLC here. Do not get slingshot. It actually makes it worse. Nope, no uh, slingshot. But, but do get elite soldier pack if you if you want to be able to change the colors of your troops, which I find yeah that, that's worth a buck twenty five. Sure, it's certainly not five bucks. I mean, that's the thing about these Steam sales is everybody talks about the games like oh you get XCOM for ten bucks, but there's also overpriced DLC right. that suddenly becomes more reasonable. Yeah, for a dollar twenty five, I'll get something like that. And that that's one of the things that if you get on iOS, you you can't get that. You can't change the color of your troops. Yep, not cool. yet anyway. Um, I'm going to say Torchlight 2 is an easy buy. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to say if you can only get one game today, my opinion is make it Torchlight 2. Mm, I'd say I'd say XCOM, but but sure. actually both I reviewed both of these games at GameSpy and gave them both 5 out of 5. Yeah. So Fair um, enough. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. You say XCOM, I say Torchlight. It's a great loot game, great Diablo style game, you know, click Click heavy action RPG. I don't know what Wait, else. Who really says tomato? If you say, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. The original Torchlight's also on sale for three seventy four. Also a great deal. We should um, point out that this has uh, Steam Workshop support. So there, uh -huh. there are a bunch of a uh, bunch of mods you can get for it. They have updated it a couple times. They've added a bunch of new pets. Uh, it's it's a really really good game. Yep. I'm also gonna say what else we got today. So SimCity four. You know, look if you don't like Oids Online, if you don't like you know a lot of that sort of thing, SimCity four for six bucks. Yeah, and it's it's definitely a a more stable game than than uh, the, than the current SimCity. When um, I played SimCity Four, I don't know what year. Okay, it says here two thousand and three. Um, my computer just couldn't handle it. Once I don't my think town's that's got gonna be a problem anymore. That's it? that's the thing. Like once my city got to looking like this, uh, my computer would just you know kind of shit the bed a little, <laughs> and then it wouldn't be able to run the game. Am I allowed to say that? Uh, um, so, but now that everybody has, you know, sort of supercomputers by 2003 standards, SimCity 4 should run just fine. Yeah, um, and this comes with the, the Rush Hour expansion and everything, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is kind of essential. It doesn't say Game of the Year edition. Oh, it does say Deluxe it's Edition. It's a Deluxe, yeah. Uh, what about Magicka? Magicka, like, when it came out, was super buggy, uh, but was quickly, they patched the hell out of it real quick, and uh, it turned it into something real good. I love Magicka. I love its sort of take on, you know, magic systems. You don't see games that have brand new magic systems very often, and this is one of them. I love the sort of humor in its DLC. This is actually another game that, you know, I'm not going to say it's overpriced, like, look, three bucks for new missions or whatever, but it's another game where, you know, if you already didn't own the base game, which you should have, you know, now you can pick up all the DLC for, you know, eight bucks instead of 35 um, you know, and I would certainly say, you know, pick and choose, but anything that adds new content, I would say, is worth it. You know, lots of these are new missions that you should grab. And some of them are just robes. Yeah, so maybe don't get just the robes. Unless you want robes, I suppose. Um, I, I don't know. In my opinion, that's sort of the ones that you really need to take a really close look at today. Well, I, would, I would say, you know, again, uh, we're, we're back to a situation where my top three games of last year, you can get for $20. It's insane. Which, which are XCOM, Torchlight 2, and uh, FTL, which is 5 bucks today. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not a big Call of Duty guy, so, I mean, look, if for some reason you don't own Modern Warfare 3, they don't go on sale often. Here's my thing about Steam sales. I've been accused of being too cheap. <laughs> and it's... It's a combination of, it's a math problem between here's how good the game is and here's how cheap the game is. Right. So that's why I would take X, or I would take Torchlight over XCOM, even though I loved XCOM. It's because it's half as much money. You can get two Torchlights for one XCOM. Very true. Same thing with Far Cry 3. Absolutely love the game, but... Um, $24, that's yeah, outrageous. It isn't Steam sale time, because for $24, it's like Deus Ex was 3 bucks. It's right. ridiculous. Now, the, well, I just want to take a, take a moment for... 
for a warning, do not buy Infestation Survivor Stories. Nope, don't that buy is, that. That is the War Z by another name, uh, with it, which they had to change because they were sued by World War Z for a name confusion, which was the entire, re- well, between that and Daisy, they were going for maximum name confusion there, getting people to buy it thinking it was a tie-in to, or, or the Daisy standalone. Yep. It is not. It is. We gave it a 3.0 at IGN. Um, do not buy it. Do not buy do not want. It's not, it's not worth three three seventy four. Binding of Isaac out of the flash sales. We'll blast through these super quick. I, you know, Resident Evil. Uh, you know, I like indie games, but uh, you know, the werewolf game, uh, Port Royal three. Mm. Yeah. But Binding of Isaac easily worth a dollar twenty five. A good action roguelike. Yeah, and it's a, uh, the it's community kind of a randomized choice. Zelda almost. It is. It is like a randomized Zelda. That's actually a really good description. Um, Risen two. I am a big fan of. I don't know about its Metacritic. I don't like. I didn't read other people's reviews. I don't know why they didn't like it. I, I think at, at launch, uh, the the combat was a bit wonky, yeah. and they quickly patched that and revised it, and that made it a, a much better experience overall. If you like pirates and sort of exploration, open ended games, um, you know, I would say Risen Two is easily worth five dollars or you know seven fifty for sort of the the game of the year version, or not game of the year, but the one that includes all the DLC. Um, you know, Gary's mod we should not leave out. Gary's mod is two dollars and fifty cents. Yep, it's. Like, by itself, it's not actually much of a game, just a, kind of a tool set for going nuts and, and posing your your uh, your source game uh, yep. uh, characters however you want. But there are a bunch of mods for Gary's Mod, which <laughs> would turn it into some, some really crazy games. So, summing up, if you get one game, either make it Torchlight or XCOM, you should also consider Magicka, SimCity, you know, Call of Duty or Far Cry. Gary's if, Mod. And Gary's Mod. Uh, skip Van Helsing. Skip your well. I guess your truck. I don't know enough about those crazy sim games to really comment on that. <laughs> Van, Van Helsing, just for for reference, is a is another action RPG. It's nowhere near as good as Torchlight right. Two. And uh, Skip Infestation. Yes. So well, we're good. you know we're always kind of trying to help you save money here at IGN. So um, you'll be back again tomorrow for uh, you know day nine. nine. Yeah, day and nine actually, of these actually we sales. have we have the little trick here. Like if you, if you drag that uh, the image behind there to mm-hmm. to a new tab, which I already did. I'll I'll, I'll spoil it for you. It is. Um, it is Skyrim will be on sale tomorrow. Ooh. See, I don't have the Skyrim Game of the Year edition, so maybe I'll grab that, too. Yep. Cheating. <laughs> that is a nice little tip. It is. Uh, everybody at home, thank you for tuning in. Dan, thank you for joining me and dropping some PC knowledge bombs on me. Um, remember, we're always spotlighting the n- sort of all the sales happening on the App Store, so make sure you're keeping it locked to IGN.